بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now similar way we discussed in the previous section like the building the one line ACL statements you also need to understand if you if there is a one line statement already given to you then basically what uh, that exactly means now you also need to find the reverse way the reverse way means like let's say in your production network you already have this configuration now you want to understand that okay this configuration what it is going to do exactly uh, what are the range of addresses it is going to match and based on that you can specifically either permit or deny whatever is written over there so here i'm using permit here like access list one permit 10.7.6.5 which means it, in it includes only one single host so anything matching this one single host with this ip that particular packet will be permitted if there is a deny it will be denied it depends what you write over there so here i'm using all permits in my statements but it can be deny also like similar way if you take this example if you see access list 2 permit this is what the statement given to you so the wildcard mask is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.2127 so which means what will be the submit mask so now we need to find out what are the range of addresses included in this configuration example now for that we need to find the submit mask right so from all 255s again subtract the wildcard mask to get your submit mask again same like we did for wildcard mask so it's going to be 255 255 255 and then 128 that is the submit mask which means the submit mask is going to be 888 so what is the uh, what is the address so 8888 8, 8, 8, 24 24 plus 1 25 so this is slash 25 so which means slash 25 means again if you go back to the submitting how many host bits host bits will be 7 right so to the power of 7 it's going to be 128 so which means it matches the addresses in the range of uh, in the range of 192 168 4.0 and 192.168.4.127 because the group of 128 addresses right so which means when, when you're writing this wildcard mask when, when you're writing this network id with this wildcard mask it means it is going to match all the addresses in the range of 4.0 to 4.127 that's what it exactly matches so you can see this matches the range in this this is the range and again this is your actual network id and the subnet mask so i'm just writing both so that you can understand okay if i'm writing this this is how it goes anyway i'm going to show you the calculation also but again as i said the basic prerequisite i expect you to already know the submitting concepts and the calculations and you are very good with that now similar way another example let's say we have we have a acl statement which writes something like this 192, 6.0 with a wildcard mask of 0, 0, 0, 31. So, which means this is your wildcard mask. So, if I write the global subnet mask like all 255s, if I'm subtracting the subnet mask, then it's going to be 255, sorry, wildcard mask if I subtract. So, it's going to be 255, 255, 255, 224. If you subtract from 255 minus 31. So this is going to be your subnet mask. Subnet mask means this is going to be 888 eight, and 3 bits. So slash 27. Now slash 27 means if you want to find the range of addresses included in this, you know, host bits we need to calculate. There are five host bits, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. The remaining are host bits, which means the range will be to the power of five, 32 will be the range. So which means this address range uh, falls in between 6.0 to 6.31 right that is the range of addresses so if you just see these two examples here there is a difference because of the wildcard mask so it's going to match all the packets in the range of 6.0 to 6.31 and this is the actual network id and the and the slash value now similar way if you take one more example here let's say we have a wildcard mask of uh, something like 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3.255 Again, the same thing from all 255s will be subtracting the wild, wildcard mask to get your actual subnet mask. So 255, 255, 252.0, which means this is like 8 bits, 8 bits, and then 6 bits. 
plus zero. So it's going to be slash 22. Now, which means the actual network range will be 172.30.96.0 slash 22. That is the actual network range. And if you want to figure out the what are the IP addresses included in this, then basically we'll be using, you know, again, the submitting, those bits will be 10 from 32 if I subtract 22, you know, the remaining are host bits. And to the power of 10 is 1024. 1024 is the size of network, which means four blocks. So which means basically this address range will fall in between 96.0 to 99.25. I think that's the answer, so let me see. Yeah, it, it falls, any address falls in this range of 96.0 to 99.25. I'm not getting in details of submitting here. Okay, so, but I expect you to know the things as we already done this part in the submitting as well. A similar with another example, if I'm writing the, this one, 172.30.96.0 and if I'm using 00063, again the same thing from all 255s, if I subtract the wildcard mask to get you a submit mask, so it's going to be 255, 255, 255 and then of course 255 minus 63, it's going to be 192. So which means this is going to be slash 26 because 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits and 2 bits. So which means host bits will be how many? Host bits will be 6, right? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 32. So which means to the power of 6, 64. 64 is a group of addresses. Which means this, this address range will match all the addresses which falls in between 96.0 to 96.63, right? With a slash 26 is your subnet mask. A similar way, one more example here, 00031. So again, the same thing, you know, if you see, well, already we did this example, which means uh, basically this will be in this range, 0031 means I'm expecting this, this network slash 27. And of course, slash 27 means, again, five host bits. So it will be in the range of this, similar range. Okay, I'm not saying exact, because the similar range you will get, but the difference is you will get 10.1.192.0 to 10.1.192.31, right? That is, that is going to be the answer because already we have seen this example. Okay, so you can see these two are exactly the same. The only difference is the IPs are changing. And likewise, if there is one more example like 001.255, so when you're writing 0 .0 0.0.1.255 means what will be the so what will be the submit mask? So if I subtract all 255s, so it's going to be 255, 255, 254 .0. So this is 1.255 actually. So it's going to be this, which means 8870. So this is going to be slash 23. Now slash 23 means the range of addresses will be uh, 512, which means 192.0 to 193.255. So this will be the range. Again, the range I written based on host bits. Host bits are nine, and two to the power of nine is five twelve. Five twelve means again two blocks. You know, one into dot zero, one into dot zero two, one eighty three, one eighty two, one eighty three, two blocks. Okay, similar way. If you if you see other examples as well, the last one. Let's quickly do this. Zero dot zero dot sixty three dot fifty five. I think we have seen somewhere here. Not okay. So the final example here, 0 0.0 0.63.255 means I'll get the subnet mask of 255.255.192.0. Again, the calculation is same. If you take this zero, uh, same thing, you know, if you calculate from all 255s, if you subtract the 0 0.0.63.255, you can see this is zero, zero, and then there you go. You can, by seeing here, you can calculate 255 minus 63, it's 192, 255 minus 255 is zero here. And based on this, we get slash 18, slash 18 because it's 8820. And then host bits will be 14. So which means, yeah, 14 host bits. So which means the range will be in this range. So 192, 10.1.192.0, 2 to the power of 14 is going to be 124096, 819 to 16384. So, so obviously you get a lot of networks 
I think you get around 16 to 4, 64 blocks. So which means 192 to 255 block. Okay, so you need to have a rough calculation to understand uh, when you're writing a specific ACL statement, you also need to know that particular ACL statement is going to match uh, what range of addresses. So basically the same thing applies for extend also because in the extend ACLs, which we'll be covering next, they there also we mentioned the source address and the wildcard mask, but additionally we'll be adding the destination address and destination mask also.